Hello, my name is Ilona and in this video about shadow work, I want to talk about critical people. People that are critical about you, they may have opinions and things like that. I wanted to make another video today, but it was just not flowing. And then I'm like, okay, maybe today is not the day for a video. But then I kind of saw these messages and I was like, you know what, I want to talk about this. It's about having, you know, people that have critical point of view and it was very interesting i had two um different things happening yesterday i got a reaction on uh, one of my videos from someone who's been reacting before but she's quite critical about how i view things and she's always in a very negative state at least that's how i read her reaction maybe that's my interpretation but she really sees things as it's not going anywhere and uh, we're in an awful situation so I reacted to her, you know, I focus on myself, I make my own choices and that's what I should be doing. And then she kind of responded something and then she actually said like, yeah, but the people that are, I think she was talking about the people that are following me, they see everything as great and uh, that's very dangerous that they see things like that. That was kind of amazing to me because first of all, she kind of, that they were not critical enough. Well, first of all, who is she to decide how critical someone is that's following my videos or watching my videos? You don't know. You don't know how critical people are and if they really are examining things. I think it's a good thing that a lot of people are full of trust because the negative you know, energy is, is a lower frequency and that's exactly what the dark energies wants. They want us to vibrate at a lower frequency. So people that are really feeling like this, we are really heading towards something good. We are heading towards this beautiful world. And yes, it's going to be chaotic. And yes, there's going to be an awful period, but we will manage to push through it. That's an incredible, powerful energy. And I, I'm very glad that a lot of people see it as that. That's how I feel about things. I have the full trust. This is going to be, ultimately, this is going to be all right. We are really going to create this new beautiful world that everybody, at least I am, longing for. So looking at it in a very negative way or thinking that that's dangerous thinking, you know, that's fine. Um, I have no problem with people with different opinions. And I, you know, if you have a different opinion, if it's respectful, I'll leave it at that because I do think you should read other opinions as well. So I'm not going to uh, you know, someone who's uh, critical in a respectful way towards how I view things or how I see things. That's fine. I'll leave the reaction below the video. I'm not going to take that away. I believe even someone thought that I've taken a reaction away. I, I don't. If in a reaction, if you actually put down a reaction and it's taken away immediately, that is youtube themselves they have these algorithm certain links certain words certain combinations they will take it away so that's not me especially if it's in a respectful way i have no issue whatsoever with that so i thought it was very strange that this this uh, person actually thinks that you know it's it's in a way a bit arrogant <laughs> to think that you would know better than someone else and in my videos, what I'm saying in my videos, you know, this is my truth. That doesn't mean that this, this is the truth. Do not follow me because of that. Don't think that everything I'm saying is correct. Always see if it resonates with you. It is your decision to see what feels right to you, to see how you want to think about things. Uh, I watch other things as well. I read other information as well. I, I enjoy doing that because then I can see, oh, does this resonate with me or... Maybe it doesn't, well, then I can leave it, but it will help me grow. It will help me shape how I see things by reading other things and making a decision. Does this resonate with me or not? And I hope my videos, in a way, help people as well. So if you're watching a video, you're like, well, I'm sorry, I don't agree with, uh, with her at all. That's fine. Then leave it for what it is. But I find it very strange that there are people apparently thinking you know, like this, this woman apparently thinking that apparently the people that are watching me are not critical enough. Then I'm like, 
where do you get that information? You have no idea if they are critical or not. Just because they have an opinion or say things that don't, that don't agree with you doesn't mean that they are not critical. Maybe they had a completely different path and work their way to how they're feeling right now. And that's their process, their way of uh, following their path. And there was another thing as well. There is uh, someone on uh, Facebook who's been sending me things that are completely opposite of what I say. And that's fine. I always thank them for them. But I was kind of confused. You know, they kept sending me things. And I, I kind of asked them, like, why are you sending me this? It's not that I'm going to change my mind. I think it's pretty clear that I have a different opinion. And there was almost this force alongside. And he actually reacted with, well, you're wrong. What you're saying is misinformation and you need to change that because you are now actually working along with the dark energies for some reason. And I was just the same thing as the other, but I was like, well, you know, like I said, I'm quite open. I can be wrong, but it's almost like these people do not even consider that they could be wrong. You know, it's very possible that I'm wrong, he's wrong, and there's something completely different going on. That's an option as well, but it's almost like that doesn't happen in their world. It's like, yeah, this is the correct way, this is the only way, so you have to be wrong because you do not fit with how I see things. And I just think that's like, why do you think that? Kind of, who made you God? <laughs> who made you to... I am open to all kinds of um, different points of views, but ultimately I decide what fits with me and what doesn't fit with me. And I assume that people that are in the truth community follow their own lines along that line as well, because this is about the great awakening. This is about following our own inner compass, what fits with us, what doesn't fit with us. So it just amazes me these people also in the truth of community kind of like, no, this is the only way. Like, why are you so focused on that? And it's fine that you have your own opinion, but keep it open. Why not keep an open mind? You know, you can send me things like, well, this is how I view things. This is, you know, some articles you maybe read about it. Make up your own mind. You keep it open. But it's almost this force like, no, you have to think like me. And that's this, this divide and conquer that the dark energies have been, how do you say this, programming us. And I'm like confused with that. You know, keep your, it's fine you have your, own, you know, your, your opinion, but it's still your own opinion. It's not the ultimate truth. We don't know what's actually going to happen. So we have to follow our inner compass. And it's very likely that my inner compass is different than this person's inner compass. But that's fine as well. I think we need to step away from this uh, very uh, how do you say, territorial way of dealing with certain convictions. Like, well, there are no other possibilities. So you have to think like this and otherwise you're wrong. Leave it open. Connect with people that resonate with you. And if someone doesn't resonate with you, then leave that person or leave it for what it is. I think that's very important that we need to keep an open mind in that. And I also want to talk about critical people in your life because there are a lot of people that are thrown out of their families even because of how they were thinking, of course, that there are different, different stands towards things, different stands how they've been viewing life. And it's, it's a horrible thing when you have families that are completely opposite and there is no room, there is no respect that you will have to respect their way of thinking, but they have no respect for your way of thinking. Now, ultimately, if you do are thrown out of a family, usually then the family was dysfunctional to begin with because if there's true love and respect for each other, you're not going to be thrown out of the family just because you think differently. So that says something about the family and the dynamic in the family. But how do you deal with this? Because we have these, you know, Christmas uh, celebrations coming up and you'll be meeting family again. How are you going to deal with someone who is extremely critical of your way of thinking and are not able of looking at themselves as, hey, I could be wrong as well. Or, hey, maybe we can just look at this openly. It's almost like they have to defend their own convictions because... 
it's almost like they fall apart if just they just leave it open. It's almost like you're hurting them personally if you do not think the same way. It's a very strange dynamic. It's all right if people don't think the same way as I do. I do understand that there are a lot of people in the truth community afraid. Like, hey, just look at what all these unconscious people, what has happened, you know, the past two and a half years. But realize that things that are happening to you that have happened have to do with your, you know, your energy as well. So there are people thrown out of the families, unfortunately, and, and a lot of horrible things have happened. But there have been families been very loving, even if they were thinking differently. So it has to do with your energy as well, what you experience. And the past two and a half years, I've still been living my life. You know, I've not gotten stings, never got any testing. I pretty much just do what, what I like to do. So even with everything falling apart around you, it's how you create, how you manifest, how you deal with your energy that's really keeping you limited or opening you up. You could see this as opportunities to maybe even break away from a very dysfunctional family of people, maybe your colleagues, or maybe you're in the wrong place for work. You know, you could see if a lot of people are very critical and they don't respect you, maybe that's not the place for you to be. But especially, I just want to talk, if you deal with things, maybe Christmas, go to your family and you want to enjoy that. How do you do, what's going to happen? What can you do? Well, the first thing that's very important, if someone is critical, see what reacts with you, what comes up there. Uh, it, it's, you know, you can be triggered. I also, I always look at when I get triggered. So when I read something, does this trigger with me? Something, something I can work through, maybe pain, anger. Last year, I had uh, someone who was very critical of me that really hurt me while well, I've worked through it. So now it doesn't really hurt me. I kind of wonder th about things, especially why I'm making this video. I thought it was very interesting. I was like, why do these people think that they are in the right? They could be wrong too. I can be wrong, so they can be wrong too. But it's almost like that doesn't resonate with them or something. It's almost like they have to protect their own convictions. And, you know, it's, it's very interesting. So that's why I, if you're in this situation, you maybe have a family member, mother, father, grandparents that are very critical of you. First of all, see what comes up, you know, it's fear, anger, sadness, things like that. Then later on, usually when it happens, it's not the ideal time, but later on you can maybe take some time to feel through that because those are energies inside of yourself that are triggered so you can heal them. So they will not be triggered the next time this happens. And you can keep it lightly, you know, choose your battles wisely. Do you really want to start like this uh, right now, this, this, you know, create this tension? You can maybe deflate it. That's what I do most of the time. You know, if people, as a, they are critical of my way of thinking, they're trying to push you in a certain corner. Like, uh, so you still believe those things about the stinks, things like that. And then I'm like, yeah, I do. I completely believe that. I am still, whatever you want to call me, you know, it's insert some word there. Yeah, I'm completely still crazy about that. That's how I see things. Just take away the wind from there. Uh, how do you say this? That it's a Dutch expression. <laughs> I didn't think this through, obviously. So you really take the wind out of there. Oh, I can't. I'm sure someone else will understand what I'm talking about. But it's very important that you take away how they can push you. And, and especially maybe even people that are staying at home because they, they are not capable of working anymore. They've decided to just like, you know, this is not the job I want anymore. There could be family members are kind of, you know, very condescending. Well, what do you do all day? And you know, nothing. I watch videos on YouTube about cats and dogs. Drink coffee all day. Do nothing. Get, give them that back. You're kind of de-escalating it because then they have nothing to hook on to. So you can also just separate yourself, maybe, you know, limit your time with people like that. But it's very important to protect your own energy. And then later on, you can look at what was the pain that would come up. Anger, fear, things like that. Very important to deal with that. Because the stronger you'll get, 
you know, you won't have to worry about that. It won't affect you anymore and you'll be able to stand up. And it's very likely that people will not even re be responding to you anymore in that way because on an unconscious level, they feel they have nothing to enter. They don't feel like they can hook into you. Very important that we do understand the unconscious level. People can be very unconscious, but they do react on an unconscious level as well. So if they feel, they do feel people, whether they are conscious or not, will feel your energy. And if there is nothing for them to hook into, because you're so strong and you're so in touch with your energy, they will leave you alone. So that's very important. So I'd like to leave that this, and of course, uh, I'm very curious how you see things, how you deal with critical people. Just let me know in the comments down below. Well, hope to see you in another video. Bye.